Okay, so that brings it down to 10 degrees, but now we're down to 67 meters per second. I'll just make sure that this is pointed at the sun when the sun comes up. I'll have it wait for assistance. So there's that, and then there's the tug. Let me take a look at the situation with the tug. Now, the problem is the tug has been sitting here for a very, very, very long time. So I don't know if it has any charge at all. It does, though it only has a battery of a thousand. And it's, oh, well, it's pointing in the wrong direction. Whoops. Okay, well, that'll zero out the inclination. And maybe we should bring in that periapsis a bit. It's not too bad. Okay, so that's in 3 hours and 29 minutes. Right now the lander is recharging. Um, let's make sure that we've got appropriate warnings with it. The tight spot is water, 17 hours. Okay, so we will try to bring the tug to the lander. Because it's about time we use the tug. This is gonna be two episodes, isn't it? Oh well. Hey, mission. Okay, three kilometers ish, it seems. And we'll have to burn off 267 meters per second. Okay, well, actually, uh, let's. You're probably late. Yep, we're definitely late. Whoops. Good thing this has a lot of Delta V. Gotta keep an eye on Earth to make sure we maintain comms, though. Oh, and there's the whole crashing into the surface business that we gotta avoid a bit. This is, um... I mean, I assume we intersect it before we crash into the surface right now. But, do we intercept it before we lose comms? Uh, okay, Earth is setting. I'm gonna kill relative velocity, and then I'm gonna let the lander do the rest, because this is probably not gonna have enough comms. I mean, we might pick up some other satellite around the moon, but we might not. Okay, kill rotation. Very much so. Please don't try to rotate. Lines, I think. Oh, uh, we're communicating through Lunar Mission W. Uh, somewhat through the surface, but... But it's gonna lose comms eventually soon, too. Or at least a direct line. Okay, let's have the lander do the rest. Okay, we have connected. In theory, only the engines on the tug should be active, so let's make sure we're controlling from here. And we've got oodles of Delta V, so let's use it. Okay, so with this maneuver, we would be able to get an encounter over here. Just immediately, because we're relatively close. Well, we're also boosting pretty high with that maneuver, but it's okay. We have the Delta V. Okay, that will do. And then uh, 60 meter per second burn once we get there. Okay, ignition. All right, it's going the right way. No extra engines lit. We gotta move a little bit more of the prop into the lander. Uh, should I? Well, I guess it's slow enough. 
It's definitely imbalanced, but it's probably not too far off. Okay, now I'll just be safer once we separate from the lander and have the lander dock to the Mark 1-3 command pod. Okay, well, this looks fine. Well, there's the pod. Well, that's close enough with the tug. I think we're going to separate. I will back away. And go back to worrying about the sun. For now, we might want it to bring in some pods to get the science from them. Okay, for now we'll just have this side hold steady. Not that one, this one. Okay. Okay, and docked. All right. Muhammad is like barely safe here. Need some help with that. Okay, let's transfer all the science to this pod then. Transfer data here. It says one slot. But I don't know if it was only supposed to be one slot, but whatever. It said transfer all data here, so... Presumably that's all of it. Grab and board. Okay. So, right. I don't think there's anything we need to do with that. Except for deorbit it. So let's do that. It's going to be a lot less confusing around here. Well, let's double check. No, no data, right? No data. Okay. Okay, so that will meet its demise. Now, what about some of the other data? Well, there's a derelict one right there. That's in a different orbit. That the tug will be necessary for. There's a depleted lander, though. And that has different data. We should have our surface sample from the Sea of Tranquility. We do. 30 kilograms. I probably don't take that into account very well when planning these missions. And at least we seem to have enough Delta V. Okay, so let's get that, because that one has fuel. I think we'll just have it rendezvous with us. We can hang out for a while. So I'll go to the tracking station and turn to it. Okay, so we have no communication right now and actually no electric charge, but we'll have to see once we get into daylight how it is. Uh, that doesn't look good. We have left it here for quite a long time, more than two years. In theory, the tug could still get to it. Which science was on board here? Well, I guess we can't even find what science it is until we get power, so... Okay, it is recharging. Uh, oh, only during time warp. So it probably didn't keep very good track of that. Okay, so... Sun down, RCS. Oh, very vigorous. Okay, well, let's just spin for now. Okay, so while it is spinning, let's... Try and see if it can get itself down to our pod. Um, I guess, well, our pod is behind us, really. Okay, now we have comms. So we need to get into a higher orbit so the pod can catch up to us. We've got 321 to work with. Okay, well, let's just go with that. Just using the center engine here, but that's probably for the best. Okay, that's a start. Zero degree inclination. And let's make sure we continue to get sunlight. Curious whether it's actually net electric charge positive. It seems that way. It doesn't deplete enough on the nighttime side so that it should have depleted it at all. 
So that was probably just an orientation issue. Over here, let me try a little prograde burn, just so that we only have one tangency. Okay, that's pretty close right there. Um, we do need to continue getting power though. Okay, we are in render range of the target. Uh, well, we have comms. Um, uh, well, right now we're being relayed through that Looney 4, which is also being relayed through that Looney 0, which is... Okay, so wait a minute. Uh, we've got the Lunar Lander Derelict relaying the Looney 0, relaying the Looney 4, relaying this. Got that? <laughs> so, yeah, hopefully we have comms. Okay, just hold steady there. Well, here we go again. Seems familiar. Okay, we have connected. I will say transfer data here. Oh, we do have the two crew for this one now. So let's do that. I don't know why I left the space television broadcast in here. I thought I'd switch that out for another two-person one. But anyway, that's running. It'll take a day. I don't know how long the tug is going to take to get the other one here. But okay, two slots. And we'll just dump this lander now. Now, uh, should we just, for safety's sake, transfer the food, water, and oxygen? Maybe. Nah, they have plenty in here, though. And especially the water, because of the fuel cell. So we will dump this now. And it, too, will perish. But we will try to grab the other one. Let's see. Um, before I do, let's see which one it has. Which science it has. Okay, derelict. Let's use the tracking station. Now this obviously can't do any rendezvousing. I would be lucky to hold steady while the tug docks with it, but... Uh, I guess we could just transfer the stuff into the tug. Hopefully, maybe. I don't know if it has a slot. But let's see what it's got. Oh, it's got two surface samples, too. Gosh darn it. <laughs> you had to have surface samples as well. Midlands. It's all Midlands. I don't know why there's two different moon-landed surface samples. So, Lunar Tug, we'll get to you with the tracking station, and it will grab this. Oh no, which way are you spinning? <laughs> Honestly. And yeah, uh, I turn to this, and once again we have the situation where, where Mechjeb does not seem to understand the Delta V of this. It definitely has more than 142. And that's apparently in this case because we're controlling from I don't know where. I don't know where that was we were controlling from. I guess it was the hatch of the lander. But the lander's hatch is gone. It's weird. Why does the hatch of the lander take so much precedence? I don't know. Okay, well, that's 14.64 degrees that we have to get to. Well, I only want to take one orbit with this, so... We will lift our orbit up quite far. 500 and then 300, or uh, let's say 256 to rendezvous. We're probably doing this late, too. Okay, we'll have to do another correction.
Okay, well, that's all the inclination part. No, oh, that's fine, 200 meters. Okay, 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 okay. Um, just get power, please. Okay, there's our derelict lander with the science on board. And ignition. Okay, time to get the lander to help out here. Well, at least stop spinning would be nice. Okay, can you kill rotation without doing too much? Oh, that's nice. Okay, all right. So, let's make sure that the lander's stuff is shut down and everything. Control from here. And we keep power. Right, now rendezvousing with that. So much trouble for science. 2,000 meters per second is a lot to work with. There's something there. And we'll have enough. Okay, 1.5 we'll have to do. We need 450 right now and 177 later. But, uh, will we have comms when we have to do this burn? Well, it looks like Looney 4 is helping to relay us with the help of Deneb Geosat N. I guess it'll work. Make sure this has higher priority. It does. Okay, good. I don't want to use any of that. I don't want to have to transfer any this time. There you go. Okay, that's good. We have our encounter. And we won't know if we have comms. Now oh, there's Looney 4 again. But Looney 4 is going to lose comms soon unless it can relay through something else. It looks like Looney 4 will have enough for a little while. Up, 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 up. Entering run range. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. Too late. Okay, well, that will get us into render range without too much velocity. I think before we run out of comms. Okay, it's right there. I'm gonna let go of the lander. Have it turn around. Oh, uh, that's slightly suborbital. Let's not do that. Um, it's probably good not to be like that at all. Because uh, that's, uh, we're gonna have to have the pod rendezvous with it, and I don't, well, we're headed up to Apoaps, this will be fine, probably. Probably. Okay, so, well, we're not in render range of the pod yet. This may or may not maintain comms, it does not. Uh, that's alright for now. Okay, we have a little bit of comms, so try and use that here. Okay, that's a bit safer. Okay, we have connected with the lander. Let's try this again. Transfer data here. It says four slots. I guess that's right. Okay, well, we don't need you anymore. And it's pretty much done with fuel. It was just here collecting RPWS data and it got that. So it too will be deorbited.
Meanwhile, our tug, which is not in range, well, we'll leave it be. I don't remember what orbit it's in. It might even be crashing into the surface right now. Um, set us target. What is it doing? 107 by 15. Uh, it doesn't have that much left. We'll probably be able to have a better tug. Oh, let's just take a look at it. Well, I'll save it just in case. It doesn't have that much. But let's double check that's controlling from the right direction. Okay. Okay. So it's a fine orbit. And we will keep it charged. Doesn't say it right now, but I've been at it for many, many, many years. Been a very successful tug. Okay, and finally we get to go back home. So, now let's just shut off the Hydrolox engine, though we could use its propellant here. It will activate. Worries me, so. Those engines, 972 with these, is plenty enough to get back home. And 60. Four slots. Was it supposed to be four slots? I swear. Oh, but one was a duplicate. Maybe... Maybe, yeah, I think it figured out that there was two deep surface... Or two surface samples of the Midlands or something. Probably. Well, anyway, ignition. Alright, that is good enough. Or what we normally have, so... Out we go. Mohammed and Sarolta coming back after a very complicated mission. I feel like they hardly ate, but we did get the food from the lander. But I didn't think that was that much, so. Here comes Earth again. Okay, we'll try to slow down a little bit as usual. Uh, maybe a little bit closer. Okay, that's probably good enough. And... Separation. Okay, suborbital velocities. All right. Uh, G force is going up a little bit, but it should be fine. Okay, parachutes have deployed fully, and we're a little bit heavier with the samples, seven meters per second, and we are over the Indian Ocean. Splash down. Yeah, and recover. Normal recovery. Alright. Okay, so we did it, right? Uh, we finished that one, and thereby the program. Okay, 291 credits. Yes, we got all those samples. And they are taking a much needed break. And this obviously uh, was two episodes. <laughs> Uh, so, let's just make sure. Well, there's a crewed moon landing and rover exploration, but I don't think so. We'll think about that, but we're definitely doing something completely different next time. And this one's running out. So, yes, we're sort of in a peculiar position. I'll update the mods to see if we get the space station contract pack, the space station program, 
or maybe the space plane program and decide from there. So during the moon landings, I haven't done any updates of mods for obvious reasons because I don't want things messed up suddenly in the middle of doing these moon landings, but now I have to update them and we'll see what we do next. There is the Jupiter window, but yep. So having basically completed the lunar program, the crew lunar program, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you next time.